Hey up everybody, MagPyNet901 here, and welcome back to some more Seven Days to Die. Now in the last episode you saw me get killed by the zombie dogs, I didn't even know they was in the game. But, yeah, surprise, one of them got me. So since then I've done a little bit more to my base, and actually, when I went back on after that episode, I went back and got my backpack. I didn't actually know that you could change the rules of the game so that you only lost what was in your belt instead of your backpack, so that's one thing that I've changed. So now I'll only lose what's on my belt, everything in my backpack will stay there. Um, I've also changed the length of the days so that I can get more done. And I'm currently preparing for the second Horde night, which is tomorrow night, the 14th day. So yeah, I thought I'd just detail some of the things that I've changed with the base. Uh, we'll go outside and have a look first. First of all, I've built these little pillars. I've actually seen quite a few people do this on YouTube there so that it brightens things up and you can actually see what you're shooting at so I've done that um, I've put some on the outside of the building as well obviously I ain't got them all done I need to do this bit yet so yeah I've done that I've shored up this little fence as well around the church now it doesn't really stop the zombies at all they can get over it but I've noticed that pigs and the stacks actually get stuck on it so I've filled in the gaps so that if any of them do stray this way and I put an hour into them when they run away they get stuck on the fence so it can become quite easy to catch then and that's really all I've changed on the outside of the building I've added some more wooden spikes around the front of the church I'll uh, show you some more of that later uh, I've put a metal ladder in so I actually had a bear that I thought I could take down quite easy and it wasn't that easy, it destroyed my ladders Destroyed quite a few of these wooden posts, so let's have a look inside. What does anybody else struggle with these ladders? I, sometimes I can't get up them unless I sprint. Now I've added this little water thing here, which I've also seen done on YouTube, and it gives you infinite water. And basically the way to do it is to fill your bucket with water at a water source, bring it back, make sure that you've got an area like this, it's got to be one deep and two by two wide. You pour the bucket of water into there, which gives you this water, and then when you fill up your glass jars from going in the corner, you then have just one little corner left of water. Now when you scoop that up using the bucket, you can pour it back and it gives you all the water back again. So that's one thing I've done to solve running out of water. Now I would assume that something like that will eventually be patched out, because it does effectively is cheating although I've got a water source that isn't too far away so it just like if you look on it like I've got one there the rivers there that's there they're not that far away so it's it's just saving me a trip out that's all oh, I got rid of I had a, a wooden walkway that went over there the slope I decided to get rid of that and I've gone and built this second floor in the building I've done it four high because I've noticed that these dogs can jump quite high. I don't think they can do four high, but I do think that they can do three high because I had one jump up on that platform and it almost got through the door. So, and I've reinforced the door, of course. So I started to do this floor. I haven't finished it yet. It gets so boring having to fill in each one of these, so I've just left it like that for now. I've knocked through this part of the church. I haven't finished this yet. I'm going to put a little platform on so that I can hang out and... Um, obviously take out the horde when they get here so effectively I can reach all four sides of the building and defend all four sides whilst the horde is here should things really go shitty though I've decided to do this little bit here and I can escape to the roof and I've got a little uh, cubby hole up here that I can effectively just hide in and stay in there should things really get out of control hopefully they won't though hopefully I can defend everything and things will be fine but yeah those are the things that I've changed ready for horde night obviously I've upgraded my tools a little bit I've got myself a, a blunderbuss just for a little added power that's basically the only weapon that I can craft right now but it should give me a little bit more protection should I lead especially close quarters protection should I need it if anything does actually get in so yeah um I'm all ready for tomorrow night, really. I wanted to have all of these upgraded to iron ones, but I just haven't managed to get hold of enough iron yet to do that. Um, I'm going to have plenty of arrows crafted, though, ready for it. So 
I should be all good. I mean, it's only the second Horde Knight, so I don't suppose it'll be too difficult. Although I'm not going to underestimate it, I'm going to make sure that I'm very well tooled up and prepared for the job. So, yeah, I just wanted to give you a little update on the base. The next video that I do will be of me doing Horde Knight. So... I did want to do that video today, but with me slowing down the days, obviously it's taken me a lot longer to get through. But I did need to slow the days down because I needed more time to get everything upgraded. So, oh yeah, and I've also started to dig underneath the church. I've decided that I should have a secondary entrance into the church somewhere, so I'm going to dig out. Hopefully, I'm going to show you here second. I'm going to dig out over into this hill and do a secondary entrance. I'll probably um, hopefully be able to do cobblestone squares by then and I'll be able to build quite a fortified entrance in. Should I need an entrance in or an exit out then that will be there for me to use. So yeah that's pretty much it. That's the update. Obviously I've explored a little bit more of the map. This village I've stayed away from for now until I have got way more upgraded weapons. Obviously taking them dogs on is quite hard. I've noticed that um, one to two shots with the blunderbuss does take them out, but also in that village there were three or four dogs at a time and the blunderbuss does take time to reload. So it's not really an ideal weapon for me to go hunting with through that village right now. So I'm going to wait until I'm very much more upgraded. So, yeah, that's pretty much all there is to show you in this episode. Thank you very much for watching, thank you very much for listening. If you liked it, please give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and there will be a lot more of 7 Days to Die coming very soon. Thank you very much, take care.